Hi and welcome to week 3 of the Digital Magic Online class. Today we're going to be talking about how to create a custom brush with a signature that you can use then to put on your own artwork. I'm going to start by opening a file that you've got in your class files. I'm going to go File Open and I'm going to look for the Jane Doe JPEG and I'm going to click Open on that. Now the file opens and this was simply created by drawing on a piece of cardstock. I then scanned the image into my graphics program. It was scanned at a 300 dpi resolution and I saved it as a JPEG file. If you don't have a scanner you could equally well do the same thing by drawing on a on a piece of paper and then actually taking a photograph of it with your camera and saving it as a JPEG. So I've got my JPEG open. It measures about 3 inches by 1 inch and I'm going up to my adjustment menu and I'm going to go filter adjustments and threshold. Now I'm going to try and turn this into a nicely defined black and white image because one of the things that you'll learn when you're creating custom brushes is that the brush palette only reads black, white and grayscale information so we need to give it a nice dark black and white image to work with. Now I'm going to start by pulling the threshold adjustment of this up right to about 220 and I'm going to click OK. Then I'm come back to my brush picker I'm going to change my foreground color to white and I want to pick my brush tool and I'm actually just going to come in here with the brush that I've got set up as a default and I want to come and remove some of those little extraneous pieces of black dots that we've got here and there. I don't want them to sort of ruin the continuity of my nice brush. And I'm going to zoom in and just follow around my picture and make sure that I've got rid of any extra little black dots that I don't want there. It doesn't have to be perfect but I don't want it too messy. Okay, and we've just tidied it up nicely there and I'm happy with that so I'm going to zoom back out and the next thing I'm going to do is go up to my edit menu and I'm going to choose define brush and you get the brush name box which pops up and you can type in here it takes the default name initially of the image file that you opened but this is where we're going to give it a unique name that will define the brush as yours. So I'm going to call mine M.O. Jane Doe Sick Brush. Now it will actually save this as an ABR file on your computer. I'm going to click OK and already you'll see because I've got my brush tool set as the, the working tool that we have a Jane Doe brush here. The next thing I'm going to do is come up to my brush menu which is at the top of the menu bar and I'm going to click on this little black arrow next to it and it will show us the brushes menu. In here you have a number of brush sets available including some of the one, custom ones that I've actually made. I'm going to come up to this double set of arrows and click on that and we have a menu here that gives us quite a number of options but I'm going to choose to come down and choose Preset Manager. This is going to give me a menu and it's going to show me in the very last box the brush that we just created. Now although I've only created one brush, in the next lesson we're actually going to create a number of brushes, I'm still going to save this as a set. And I'm going to give it a name, I'm going to call it M.O. Jane Doe Brush, and it'll have the file extension of ABR. Now it will natively save these brushes into the brushes folder, and I'll leave the path to find that for you in your PDF notes. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to click Save, and then we're going to hit Done. Now that I've defined my brush I'm going to go ahead and close this JPEG. I don't need to save the changes. I'm going to come up here and we're going to open a file so that we can have a look and see how our brushes are working. So I'm going to click in here and I'm just going to pick out the bird collage picture and then I'm going to come back up here to my brushes menu and I'm going to click on the drop down menu. Now I could say reset brushes and it would set us back to the default brushes but I want to find my Jane Doe brush so I'm going to come along here and I'm going to go load brushes. I'm going to browse in my brushes folder and find my Jane Doe brush. I'm going to click load and there I'll have my Jane Doe brush live and loaded and it actually appears in the brush drop down menu there. So now that we've got the Jane Doe brush loaded and active, I'm going to come across to my image. I just need to resize this brush as it's way too large for this image. And I'm just going to pick a pixel size of about say 99. Now with my brush tool active and my color picker set to black, I'm going to come along and I'm going to create a new layer, which I'm going to do via the shortcut at the bottom of the layers palette. Click on new layer and you'll see that layer 1 is our new layer on top of our background. My brush tool is active and I'm just going to come and click in here and there you'll see your signature on the new layer document. 
In order to give it a little bit more pizzazz, I'm then going to come up to my FX window and I'm going to look for my drop shadow brushes and I'm going to choose a soft edge drop shadow and I'm going to click apply on that. Now zooming in a little more closely to where I've actually applied my signature brush, I'm going to come up to my layers palette where I've applied the FX shadow, the drop shadow, and I'm going to click on the little FX in the layers panel and it will bring up my style settings dialog box and this is where we're going to be able to manage how the drop shadow looks on our signature brush and I'm actually just going to change the lighting angle on that to about 120 degrees thereabouts and I've got drop shadow checked now I can vary the size of my drop shadow and you'll see there that it's changing all the time and I can change the distance on it and I can also change the opacity on it so I'm going to leave the opacity reasonably high. The setting, the distance setting is at 2 and the size setting is at 1 and I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to zoom back out by pressing Ctrl minus and now you can see that we've got our signature brush applied nicely in the bottom right hand corner of our document. The last thing that we can manipulate here is the opacity setting on this layer so I can actually pull that right down if I want the signature effect to be a little more subtle or I can increase it up to be hard and strong. And there you have it, that's how you create a custom brush with your own signature in it in Photoshop Elements.